loves in the air. Dum, 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 dum. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming not one, but two Valentine's looks that you can do for Valentine's Day, which is in three days' time. Which is actually a week time right now because I'm pre-filming. That's so weird. So the first look I will be showing you is not this one, it's another one, and it's this sweet little pink look that you can wear on a date night. It's like really cute and Valentine's look. I don't like Valentine's Day. It just annoys me. <laughs> so that's why I would go with this look, which is kind of like your punk, rock, dark, vampy. I show you this eye look with a nude lip in case you don't like the whole dark lip but yeah if you do like this look it's kind of one of those like i'm single on valentine's day i'm gonna go clubbing and pick up some hot men that kind of look <laughs> if you want to see how to get any one of those two valentine's day looks then keep on watching so the first look i'm going to show you is the sweet pink date night look and i'm starting with the nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk and putting this all over my eyelid as a base and using my finger to blend it out for this entire eye look, I'll be using the Naked 3 palette. So I'm picking up Limit on a fluffy brush and I'm putting this in my crease as my transition shade. To add some depth to my crease, I'm going to be using Nuna and I'm not going to take this up as high as Limit so that I do get this illusion of depth. I'm going to use this beautiful pink shade called Buzz I'm applying this on my inner corner and outer corner in a halo eye shape. I know I've been doing a lot of halo eyes lately but I think they just look really nice on a large variety of different eye shapes. I'm now packing the shade Dust on the centre of my eyelid where I left that blank space. Dust has these really beautiful fragments of silver glitter in it which is really going to help to bring light to your eyes and make them look a bit more youthful. I'm now using the shade Liar on my inner corner and outer corner and blended this slightly into my crease to add even more depth and this is also going to make my eyes look a little bit more round. I keep going back with my big fluffy brush and Liar and blending that crease out further and then I used Buzz and Dust and did exactly the same thing I did on my eyelid to my lower lash line blending it out again with Nuna. Out of frame. Well done. To draw more attention to my eyes, I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in light in my waterline. Going back to my Naked 3 palette, I'm using Black Cart and I'm going to smudge this slightly on my lash line using a pencil brush to give the appearance of a fuller lash line and thicker eyelashes. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm using Strange on my inner corner and brow bone and applying mascara. For blush, I'm going to use the MAC Toledo Collection Blush Ombre in Kindergarten Red and I'm afraid since this is limited edition, it's not available to you anymore but I will put a drugstore option in the description box which is really I applied my blush in a very different way to how I normally do. I put this quite high up on my cheekbones and over my nose bridge and right on the outer corner of my eye, I packed this blush on to look like I'm naturally blushing. I don't know, I really liked it. It gave a really nice, sweet and innocent appearance. The highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Obsession Highlighter in Bare and I'm applying this to my cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow and above my brow as well. I'm not taking this too far back on my cheekbones because I really want to keep it in the centre where the highest point of my cheekbone is just to really draw the light in towards that singular point. I really wanted my lips to match the delicacy of the eyes so I'm literally just lining my lips with the W7 pink lip liner and I'm filling my entire lips in. 
and then I went in with just a lip gloss over the top to add some beautiful shine. The lip gloss I'm using is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. Obviously, if you don't like lip gloss or you don't want to go with this lip colour, you can always go with something else. You could go with a liquid lipstick if you wanted it to be transfer proof, for example. It's all down to personal preference, so just take pieces from my tutorials and use them as inspiration. So now that we're done with look number one, we are now going to move on to look number two. To start off, I'm using the NYX Hot Singles Eyeshadow in the shade LOL, which is a lovely orange shade. And I'm starting to apply this in my crease with a fluffy brush. To make the eyes a little bit more dramatic, I decided to go with a cat eye shape. So I joined my outer corner to my lower lash line by using LOL, and I really made sure to blend out that V shape so it had a nice transition into my skin colour. I'm now using the Makeup Obsession Eyeshadow in Rare, which is a beautiful ready copper shade. I really love it. I'm using this all over my eyelid and blending it out in the crease using the brush that I used for LOL. Once the outer corner, I'm using the Virgin Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Truffle, which is a really lovely blackened plum, and using this as a sideways V shape, connecting my crease to my lash line. To make sure I get a perfect blend, I keep switching between Rare, Lol, and Truffle, and keep blending it out until I get the desired look that I was going for. rare and started putting this all the way along my lower lash line before moving on to eyeliner and I'm using the L'Oreal Crayon Coal in Noir. Look at that top notch filming. Well done Kate. After lining my eyes with the Soap and Glory Super Cat Eyeliner, I used translucent powder and applied this under my eyes which will be explained later. It's a little trick I have. I'm using eyelash glue and I'm applying this to my inner corner because next up I'm going to be using this Barium Fine Glitter Dust in the shade 15 on my inner corner and I'm packing it over the top of the glue so that it's held down. The reason why I put powder under my eyes is so that when the glitter fell down under my eyes I could quickly wipe it away with the powder because we all know what I'm like with glitter. Like I, I I will freak out if I find glitter on my face three weeks after this experience. So here you can see wiping away the powder. Yeah, it's my little trick. After applying my mascara off camera, I use this MUA shade 16 matte eyeshadow and I'm applying this under my brow to highlight it. Pretty self-explanatory to be honest. Now I'm using the Chit Chat Blusher in the shade Blossom and this went really well with the eyes because it's not too overwhelming. Having such a dramatic eye and a dramatic cheek would probably too be too much. I'm applying my blush quite high up on my cheekbone and further back so I have that more structured beeline shape to my face again to match the up. Ah, uh, the Mary Luminizer, such a beautiful highlighter. It's a really beautiful goldy champagne, which I think went really well with the glitter on my inner corner. And I'm pretty much just highlighting all the gods because I love highlight and I think it looks really nice. So I'm highlighting everywhere that I usually do. As 
said in the beginning of this video, I will be showing you two different lip options, a nude and a bolder burgundy red shade. Because it's all down to personal preference, if you don't like to go as bold and not as brave, then definitely go with a nude, so that's what I'm showing you here. I'm using the I Heart Makeup Smile Is The Best Makeup Lipstick. I'm now using this red lip liner called Red Drama from MUA, which is so tiny and cute and I'm running out of it. But I'm just lining my lips and completely filling them in as a base. Over the top of the red lip liner, I'm using the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Matte Lip Cream in the shade Old Hollywood. And this is so cool. It's like the darkest burgundy red that I own. I really love it. It's quite high maintenance, but if you clean it up with concealer, which I'm going to do later, then you can totally rock it and it will look awesome. I really, really like how it looks with these eyes. It's a bit of a bolder choice to go with and I was a bit nervous about doing it but I'm really glad that I did it now. <laughs> to clean up around the lips I'm using the Revolution Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette in Light and I'm using that lightest yellow shade just to go around the lips and clean up anywhere where there's a bit of a boo-boo. Now that we are done with look number two, I can officially conclude this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment which look is your favourite, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Oh, I forgot to wear my choker! My turn. It's so easy to boom like a saloon.